Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. When the movie The Terminator came out back in 1984, sci-fi fans were introduced to Terminator Vision. You know, where you saw through the T-800's eyes and everything was recognized and analyzed instantly. And then when the T-900's came along, image quality got much better and it was in full color and objects had incredibly precise bounding boxes and trajectory logging. Well, anyway, the T-800 came back from the year 2029, a mere eight years from now. So how are we coming along with this technology? Well, as far as Termovision goes, I'd say we're ahead of schedule. And I say that because we now have the Luxonis Oak D Depth AI hardware. This incredible module is designed to harness the full power of the Myriad X visual processing unit. This VPU has compute capacity of 4 trillion ops per second, with a memory bandwidth of 450 gigabytes per second and a 2x neural compute engine. Its center camera is a 12 megapixel 4K 60 Hz color camera for excellent color representation and digital zoom. It also has a pair of 720p 120Hz global shutter mono cameras at each side for high quality, high speed 3D perception. And pretty much the entire back of this module is a heat sink to keep things cool and running smoothly. The Depth AI hardware, firmware, and software suite combine depth perception, object detection, and object tracking and gives you this power in a simple, easy to use Python API. And it's compatible with any operating system that supports OpenVINO, a Raspberry Pi, Ubuntu, Mac OS, Windows 10, and Luxonis plans to have pre-built solutions for NVIDIA Jetson and Robot Operating System by Q2 of this year. And even if none of those suit your needs, Depth AI can even be customized to run with non-OS microcontrollers or even host free. And it also comes with a 3-foot USB-C 3 cable and power supply. Spatial AI, the combination of object detection, object tracking, and depth perception, came about out of a concern for safety. Now say you're a cyclist. Unless you're in a velodrome, vehicular traffic is always going to be a concern. And while object detection could tell you whether or not there is a car or truck behind you, by combining that with object tracking and depth perception, you're able to ascertain that object's trajectory. And with an object as large as a vehicle, determining that trajectory is fairly simple using spatial AI. And that can easily tell you whether or not that car is going to miss you by two inches or hit you by two inches. Now, when I ran into Sparkfun HQ to pick up this module, I wanted to take it for a quick spin just to make sure I could get it up and running. And for something as complex as this is, it was pretty quick and easy to get going. Luxonis has some great documentation, and just by running the demo sketch, I was able to watch what the Oak D was seeing. It was really cool. Okay, so we start the demo sketch, and we'll get a pop-up window with the center camera feed. You can see it's autofocus and uh, we've got a dining, a dining table, okay, TV monitor, I'll accept both of those things, a chair. Now you can see we're getting the object, the certainty percentage, and the distance. Uh, there's a person, good, it recognizes Captain James T. Kirk as a person, and this is at 30 frames per second. Now we can run a second feed and tell it what we want to see. So we'll do, we'll do a preview out, we'll do meta out, and we'll do depth in a bounding box. Now this we'll use the two side cameras. So we'll still get the center camera feed, at 30, 31 frames per second, but now, here we go, we get the two side cameras, the mono cameras, and there's your T800 vision. Um, with the same certainty, if not more, a couple of chairs, a person, that's really cool. Movies like Robocop, Cyborg, and even Iron Man, along with the entire Terminator opus, have made us dream that this type of spatial AI was possible. That was all smoke and mirrors, done in After Effects well after the piece was shot. Well, that was then, this is now, and the fiction has been removed from science fiction, thanks to the new Luxonis Oak D Depth AI hardware. Just please, don't use it for anything too Skynet related. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and remember, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking! I wonder if this is recording sound. I hope so. Sci-fi fans were introduced to Terminate. <laughs> <laughs> haven't looked at this since I wrote it. Um, oh well, we'll give it a try. See what happens. Sci-fi fans were introduced to Termovision. Nah, uh, I think this was, that was a working title. At Fine Colorado Air. <clears throat> that was pretty good. I'll try one more just in case. It's up to one percent this week. Whoo! Yeah, that was pretty good. I don't know if it's what I wrote, but it sounded good. <laughs>